Hello everyone, this is Danish from jobskillshare.org. Today we are going to discuss another real world scenario. So let's say a user call you and say they have a USB and um, they are not seeing a full um, size of that USB, something is wrong. Or maybe you are trying to fix a issue with your U USB. Now I know for sure that this USB is about 200 something GB and um, it's not correctly recognizing in the whole space so you can quickly check it when you go to your computer right click on your computer go to manage and here disk management and you'll see right there so one way if it was an easy fix you could just right click on this and extend and but I don't see that and everything will be good that's in case you're missing that that would be a fix for that another way is to right click on it and do the format that also doesn't work so to fix it you need to go to your CMD when you go to search type CMD right click run as administrator same thing on Windows 7 you need to search CMD right click and run as administrator and then what you need to do is to, you need to open this tool so now here is the warning that you need to make sure what you're working on the disk so to check that you just need to do disk part you need to open that utility and um, list disk and you see right here I have four disks that that are online right now this one this one this one this one and to make sure I'm working on the right disk 587 is this one 465 is this one 231 is the one that I need to fix and this one is the one that's my external USB so this two is the one that we are we're working on right now so what we need to do is to type select disk 2 we need to type clean and it's clean and now we need to create partition primary okay and that's it once you do this part three commands select this to the one that you're working on clean create partition primary then you can just close this as you can see it changed right now you need to go back to, um, well, let me see if the format works. There's something different that I'm trying. But so this you see right here, capacity 231, and I need to change it to N NTFS. Um, but you can see this. All right, let's do it this way first. Now that's for sure is going to mess up things, but I'm I'm just giving it a try. If that messes up, then we're gonna go back. You can see you see that the size that it's giving is not correct, but the capacity is 231 GB. But let's just not even do that, not, not to confuse you guys. So let's go back to the settings, go to manage, go to disk management. Uh, here you see it's raw everything together and we need to do is um, formatted and I'm going to give it the new volume we need to give it NDFS and we'll just click yes okay so there you go done you have 231 GB back and now I can do anything with that this is how you do fix fixing this and uh, I could have gone the other way too but I didn't know if that really going to give me the 4 GB back and I, didn't, I never used that though so you can try that and if something is not working go back to the CMD and then try to fix it again and now I can see the whole size of this. That's how you fix this issue. Thank you so much. See you guys in a different video.